Hello everyone and welcome to my Unreal Engine 4 tutorial series on how to make a third person shooter gun system. So last time we left off doing the equipping part and we have completed both the having animations and ha not having the animations. So yes, I have the animations so I can follow this part. Also, as you can see, even if I holding a gun, it is not setting to a combat mode, uh, which is something called animating a holding gun. So I want to do that. I want to uh, animation slot from idle to holding a gun or let's say combat mode. So for that, I have some animations. So as you can see, I have downloaded some animation and these animations are retargeted to my skeleton rig. So as you can see, uh, where was it? Yes, this. So as you can see, this is jogging while holding my hand. And this is all and the idle. No, no, not this, this one. Yes. So I want this animation to play whenever I hold a gun. So how will I do that? Don't worry about this gun position, it will work. So for that, I need to make a blend space. So I will simply right click on my con uh, canvas, not the canvas, the content browser. And in here, in the animation, you can see a blend space 1D and blend space 2D. Uh, blend space 1D means one dimensional and 2d means it has two axes the two dimensional so i have forward backward left and right so i will go for two dimensional if you don't have any you can go for one directional it's up to you so i will create a two dimension and i have to create a skeleton so my skeleton and let's call it a rifle combat mode rifle combat mode okay so if you open this up, it will open something like this. So I have to provide two axes because my animation blueprint, the blend space has 2D, so two axes in here. If you are using a 1D, then you have one axis. So let's provide the animation horizontal and vertical. So for horizontal, I will create a direction. For the vertical, I need a speed. So these two are the parameters which I'm gonna use. Now for the direction, uh, see a player like this if you are controlling a player if your player goes forward then the direction should be zero if your player goes right side then the direction would be plus 90 for the left side minus 90 and for the downwards 180 or minus 180 both are the same and for the idle position the direction should be zero so the minimum should go for 180 degrees and maximum can go 180 degree plus right and i will create a 8 grid for the speed my minimum speed only go for zero because we have provided direction so i don't need to provide a speed minimum zero than that for the maximum if you go to your third person player blueprint and if you click on this character movement, you can see uh, maximum walk speed. This is the maximum walk speed your player can go, right, while walking. So I can go for uh, 60, uh, 600. So this should be my maximum walk speed, 600. If you are lurping, then you can change this, but for the testing purpose, 600 would be my final speed so okay uh, then if you click on this this is my third person blueprint which i have made where i did don't have did anything as you can see this is best and i have a speed which is by de defined by the third person character which is came by default so as you can see this i also need a direction so how do you gonna do that so from this get pawn owner, I will get the velocity and from the get L velocity, I will get the rotation. Okay. Get actor. Okay, I forgot the pin name. Wait a second. Okay. 
yes. So, I need to calculate the direction. So, calculate a direction. So, from the forward vector, the velocity and the base rotation. So, what are, what are the base rotation is, I will calculate the direction from that. So, I need a actor rotation. So, I will simply get actor rotation. And the rotation would go to your base rotation. Yes. And from this, whatever this is, I will simply promote it to the direction. And this would give me a direction from minus 180 to plus 180. So now I have my direction and speed, which is required in this direction and speed. So let's make first this blend space. So for that, I need animations. So I will simply grab some animations. So idle rifle hip. So if my speed is zero and direction is zero, then it will go here. A jog forward rifle would go to the forward one. So if my animation, my speed is 300, then it will jog as you can see. Uh, for the right one, I will simply go to here. And for the left one, I will simply go to here. So as you can see, my direction changes, this guy's changes. You can just play around and find the perfect spot for your. Okay. Because these animations are not corrected. This is why I have used some. Okay, for jog backwards. So when your direction is minus 180 or for plus 180, this is not jog forward, a jog backward. Right. So if your direction is plus 180 or minus 180, it will simply jog backward. And obviously I will create it here because my animations are not perfect. Okay. And for if, if my speed is zero, I have to set the idle position for all the directions. So I will set idle position for everything if my speed is zero. So as you can see, if my speed is zero, it will not animating, it will simply just stays in here. So that's what I need. So I will simply save it and I will open my third person animation blueprint. So go to your animation graph, if you click on this, it will open something like this, which we have done. So this is my default state machine. If you double click, it will just a default, I haven't did anything. So whenever your animation starts, it will go to your entry and from your first state, it will execute. So my first state is idle run, which is just uh, checks if your player's velocity is what, and based on that, it will change this from idle to run. So I need a new state. So I will grab and add a state or if you right click and add a state. Uh, this would be a rifle combat mode. Combat, okay. Uh, so the spellings are not correct. Okay. So what conditions to satisfy so that my idle slash run go from this one to this one. So yeah, obviously you, you have to equip an I you have to equip a rifle so that you can go from here to here and if you don't have any gun equipped then it will go to here to here so you can simply click on this and add uh, this one the pin here so it will simply attach so for this zero from here to here what condition should satisfy so the condition should be you must have equipped a rifle so get your player reference and get weapon component weapon system component right and in here if you get a rifle equipped we have made this boolean so if this is true then i want to go from the rifle to this guy uh, from idle to rifle and if it's false then i want to set back to the idle one same thing so i will simply get it here and get the weapon component from that i will simply get the rifle equipped get 
rifle equipped and if it's not true so not a boolean so if it's not true then i want to go back to the idle state right okay hit q and let's some make room here now a uh, save and i will simply go back to this default so i have to provide the animations in here so i will simply double click to go in here and i have to provide an animation so this would be my combat blend space this one we have made so if you search for the combat yes rifle combat mode i will grab here so you can see two parameters two direct directional axis this one direction and speed so i will go in here and this direction will go to this direction and the speed will go to here okay hit compile save so it working uh, let's check it out if it's working or not so as you can see if my direction is correct then it is going to this combat mode otherwise not is idle mode and a combat mode uh, same with this gun so as you can see but if i use this one this is not changing because we haven't provided any directions for the pistol one so let's do that for the pistol so if i am in rifle mode and if i equip a pistol then i want to go to the pistol state so pistol combat i don't have any pistol combat animation so i will simply go for the idle one but if you have any pistol combat you can do the same we have to do for the rifle one so what is the condition so the condition should be the player must have equipped a pistol so grab a weapon system component and get a player a pistol equipped right pistol equipped if it's true then i want to go from the rifle to pistol and from the pistol if my pistol is not true but the rifle is true then and then i want to go to here if my pistol is not true and my rifle is also not true then i want to simply go to this idle so i will simply check both the condition if get the weapon system first weapon system component yes a uh, pistol is equipped because we are going from this pistol to rifle so the condition would be a pistol is equipped is not true and a rifle is equipped should be true so rifle equipped should be true if these and these both are true so and boolean because i want this both condition to true otherwise this will give you a false if it's both both true then i want to go, go from this pistol to rifle and for the pistol i will go and check for the pistol idle animation because i don't have any animation but if you have you can make your animation blank space okay if my pistol combat is true and i don't have equipped any gun not rifle not a pistol then i just want to go to the idle one so same grab this one and get the weapon system first weapon system component uh, from this weapon system i will get a pistol and a rifle so if these and these both are not true so i will get a and boolean so now it will get us a true value but i don't want a true i want a not true value so i will simply go to a not boolean and attach it to here so if these both should satisfy then and there it will go to a true value uh wait uh, are we did anything wrong because if we have equipped any gun okay this would be a or boolean not and because it will simply give false value if any of guns is not equipped okay hit compile and from the idle to pistol combat the condition should be uh, this one if i simply uh, equipped a pistol 
then I want to go to the pistol combat. Uh, that's it. You can do for the crouch. You can do for whatever. So get the pistol equipped. If it's true, then I want to go to the pistol. Gun. Okay. And let's play and let's check if it's wrong. All right. So yeah, pistol is working. I don't have any animations, but okay. If I hit zero, it is fine. It is working. Okay, let's go from rifle to pistol. So I am now in rifle. If I hit one, then the pistol, rifle, a pistol. I don't have provided the handle socket. This is why this rifle is somewhat moving. But I have showed you how to do that. Okay. Also, my gun is not in the correct position. So I will simply correct it. Okay, so I will go to the where 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 it was so we have completed the blind space part and I will simply just go in the skeleton and simply correct my animation so in the skeleton uh, where it was in hand socket oops okay so what I need uh, I need to something or I will simply just you can play around and find your perfect spot and uh, but I have found last time so I will go to my skeleton and I will simply copy those values so with the rotation I will simply copy in here the rotation uh, let's paste let's simply save it well, let's see if I get my perfect rotation okay so as you can see this is perfect uh, okay my socket is not perfect uh, so let me set my sockets in here you can close this video because we are done I am just setting it up so as you can see my this gun AK-47 has a socket which I think is not at the perfect position I will simply go a little bit up and something uh, inside here okay so so you have to just play around and find a perfect place to attach this gun uh, okay 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 so it is working uh, the socket is not in the perfect position uh, somewhat in here mm, okay okay this is not the perfect still I have to manage it till here okay now let's see okay so it is adds it is at the perfect okay so you can play around like a UMP gun so which which is I think not perfect I won't gonna do for every gun so don't worry I'm just making this for this gun yes so something all right okay minimize let's check for the UMP gun okay as you can see this is a as perfect as I need so this is done so same way you can attach for this gun and this and this yes so everything is working so this is all for it now in the next video we will do the fire system of firing the shotgun assault rifle or anything then we will do the gun effects of recoiling and the particle system so this is all for it now so thank you so much guys for watching and bye bye